timeless around the crackling fires where our stories come to greet. Burdens of yesterday, worries of tomorrow are all laid down at your feet. And between our gaze, the fire snaps and spits in the hollow space and fills that darkness which once froze you with the wonder of God's grace. Like newfound dusty wisdom in the attics of our grandparents, our souls search with a wonder that only a child can merit. Stories and tales dance upon the tips of flames, and we find ourselves drawn to the beauty within these names. Friendships that are smithed, connection within our midst, a love blossoming from within for God's purpose all along has been to bring you to this moment to the place in which you stand, even though it looks different than you may have originally planned. The obstacles and setbacks mount in stark opposition, do you fight with divine persistence or accept in holy submission? For we are the object of God's perfect love, and the experiences in which we encounter go far above any plans we could dream up, any hopes we envision, for all we need is the assurance of God's perfect provision. See, God needs us, because without she's alone, and love by itself does no good unless it's shown. For God encounters and comes to know herself through the very experiences that we confront ourselves. Through the magic that tickles our eyes as we stare into the heavens, a star-studded canopy, comets and fireballs that beckon. Through the peace that is brought through this snow's heavy fall, washing away our regrets, we stand and wonder us all. For there are times in life when we are left simply unknowing how tomorrow unpacks, how we get to where we are going. But the lie that we've told is that destination is the prize, when all along the journey itself should be the focus for our eyes. For in the spontaneous moments when your car won't start, or the change of plan instances where you simply follow with your heart, this is where the divine meets us, where we experience God's love. It starts in the unforeseen and the moments too often disposed of. So my challenge to you in the here and the now is to dream with abandon and then release it somehow. Strive for the best that you know you were made for because those around you see a spark that is so ready to roar. This is your moment, and these are your times. The wind blows through your hair and rings the bells and the chimes. For see, our lives have the same effect on one another's spark as the wind has on a small flame, fanning it higher into the dark. See both the elusive flame of a roaring campfire and the tiny spark on the brink of your tire contain the same magic that only a flame can withhold. Regardless of the size, there is brilliance to behold. And in the same way, the better person you hope to become is the very person you are today, a mere collection of some memories and stories of dirt and bone. You need not wait for tomorrow. You simply must own the fact that from the day of your birth, you contain the potential of your full being and infinite worth. Because I see the world in brilliant light, marvelous and beautiful in its sight. Not the light that glimmers off the moon's thin crescent, nor the pale blue glow from an overhead fluorescent. Not the dancing crackle of a red-hot flame, nor the flicker revealed in a lightning bug's name. For I see a light that goes unnoticed, the embers that burn deep beneath uncertain moments. I see a light that comes from within, whose radiance fuels humanity and erases sin. It's because of which the innocent marvel, and it's through which the old rid their sorrow. My eyes dare to see life differently, to perceive humanity more wholeheartedly, to empathize with my kin unashamedly, and believe, despite our brokenness, we belong completely. I will fight for those who least deserve and love, despite a wanting to preserve the safety created by my fear and anxiety, the false narrative dictated to me by society. But I'll choose the path many deem unreasonable because the light I see within you is often just invisible. Your spark is fierce, powerful, and free, yet we harbor it below. What would happen to me if my spark shone through beyond the cracks I conceal? What change would result? What pain would I feel? But the light that peers through unveils magnificent views. Your passion released, your fear shall decrease. Your tomorrow begins and your future exists. Let your ember burn brightly, let your fear sink below. For in this story called life, 
There's more than simply going with the flow. Let it out. Shine your light. It's time to own up to your one true fright. Because I see a spark within us all. A simple light that beckons when we call. It's your spark of potential, your defining essential, your heavenly divinity, your unique and soul identity. So live your life, join the chorus, and welcome to the fiery forest. <laughs>